Hi, I'm Krista Jacobson, headmistress of the Buddha Dukai. And today I'm going to make a quick little video for uh, my social media. And um, this is just a little message to all the Buddha Dukai uh, students. And um, this is quit being a lazy ass. For all of you guys out there who are being lazy and you're slacking on your training, pull the lead out of your ass and start training. Um, martial arts teaches us to have balance between the mind and the body. And I'm seeing a lot of people that are part of the Buddha Dukai. I see a lot of people who are online and they're part of this, they're part of that, they post all this, they post all that. And uh, clearly by doing that, they're working their mind. You know, this war started at this time, this book was written at this time, you know, the exact amount of gunpowder for this torch is this. All that kind of stuff is well and good. You need to train your body just as hard as you train your mind. There needs to be balance. And if you're not doing that, you're going to become out of balance. I mean, you don't want to be the know-it-all that knows everything and can't do shit. You know what I mean? You know that one, the boy, they know everything. They know all the ninjutsu terms. They know what book was written when. They know all that. But if we said, hey, you know, do 20 push-ups, 20 chin-ups, 20 squats, and they can't do it, they can't lift their own ass off the floor, do you want to be that person? I mean, think about it. If you can't push your own ass off the ground, how can you push a bigger person off of you? You know, of course, there's the theory of, oh, in a real fight, in a real fight, it's pain, it's anxiety, it's fear, it's, you know, adrenaline. They're beating the shit out of each other. There's pain involved, you know, to sit there and say, in a real fight, they'd never touch me. Okay, well, that, that goes to this side, to all those groups that think too damn much. So we don't want to be the one that just uses their brain. They can tell you when a book was written, but have absolutely zero physical skill. Just the same. We don't want to be the uh, martial artist of the people that can do all these push-up, sit-up squats. They spar well. You know, they can do the katas. They can do this. But then you're like, well, what about this? Well, what about this strategy? What about this strategy? How do you do that uh, in the rain? How do you do it with this strategy? How do you do it in the snow? How do you do it... You know, and you start putting variables in there. You don't want to be the dumbass that always results to violence. You know, there's a balance. That's why, that's why in martial arts we see this. You see, this represents the fit. If I do this to you, if I do this, this obviously, most people look at this like a, a fighter, right? If I do this, this looks like you're reading a book. We have to have balance in martial arts. There has to be a balance. You have to take the combative aspect of martial arts and you got to wrap that with the knowledge. It comes together. There's mind and there's body. You can't have one without the other. We don't want to be out of balance. So to all of you guys who are Buddha Dukai students, um, pull the lead out of your ass and start training. Quit making excuses on why you're overweight, out of shape, and you can't do something. You know what I mean? Just start training. Quit making excuses. To all of you guys who are not Buddha Dukai students and whatnot, you just do whatever your teacher tells you. You know? They're right. But uh, to all my Buddha Dukai students who are studying the martial art of Buddha Dukai Ninjutsu, uh, pull the lead out of your ass. Start training. Martial arts is more than just reading a book. You know, and if I piss someone off by saying that, <laughs> that's the damn truth, you know? Uh, you need to, guys, need to start training. In this way, if you guys, if this is the first video you guys have ever seen uh, with me, um, my name is Krista Jacobson. I started the Budo Dukai back in 2004. I teach a martial art that I constructed called Budo Dukai Ninjutsu. It's compiled of five areas of training. Um, the Nanamusha Den, which are seven traditions, is the examples of the historical kata, the Gendai Henka Waza, which is the modern variation techniques that we derive from those seven traditions, Hojo Wando, which is supplemental training, it's survival training, strength conditioning, um, cardiovascular conditioning, sparring, grappling, kickboxing, all that kind of supplemental training to keep your skills sharp and to be able to use them. Uh, the third area, fourth area of training is uh, Seshi Teki Kyoyo, which is spiritual refinement, Bushi Ki, Samurai Spirit. Fifth area of training is Nihon Mushikyu, which is the study of the Japanese warrior. Um, where we, um, we actually do study the scrolls and the historical text. When you put all that together with the way that we do it, the way that we move our body, that is the fundamental base explanation of Budo Ninjutsu. So if you guys are interested in learning 
authentic ninjutsu and classical samurai bujutsu without the politics of all these major organizations. Um, you want to be part of an organization that encourages individuality, encourages you to follow your heart, um, but does have uh, physical requirements. It's going to make you pull the lead out of your ass and make yourself better. Check out our website at www.budodininjutsu.com. I do want to end with this one more quick statement to all of you guys who have purchased uh, the online university but you have been um, either uh, too lazy or too many excuses or too much lead in your ass to actually take the first test, take the step. Take the step. By purchasing the ninth cue, all you've done is open the door. That's it, you've opened the door, but you gotta walk through it. You have to physically walk through it. Take the first test, pass your first exam, then we put you on the, uh, the Kuden page, which is a private forum for all Budo Dikai students who've passed their level one. You can get involved, start talking to us. You see weekly homework lessons, workouts, all this kind of stuff. Get you involved, get you to be part of the community. But if you guys have just bought the, bought the program and you haven't taken the incentive to actually pass the first test, pull the lead of your ass and pass the test. So, anyway. Thank you guys for all of your love and support. Until next time, take care, be safe, and good luck in your journey of Buddha.